Judges chapter 12 continues the chronicle of Jephthah as Israel's eighth judge. In the previous chapter, Jephthah successfully wins a campaign against Israel's current oppressors. And now in chapter 12, Jephthah is surprised to be met by a new challenge. This time, he and his company face the threat of war from Ephraim, a brother tribe of Israel. Long story short, Ephraim irrationally took offense that Jephthah would go to war without them, though they had been invited to join. Ephraim couldn't be calmed. War ensued. 42,000 men of Ephraim lose their lives that day. It's a tragedy. Judges chapter 2 verse 19 explains why this happened. It says, But whenever the judge died, they turned back and were more corrupt than their fathers, going after other gods, serving them and bowing down to them. They did not drop any of their practices or their stubborn ways. Seven judges later, it's no wonder that Ephraim sought to battle against their own brother. In a morally declining world, logic and reason go out the door. We will find that this is always the case in any culture. Just as this was true in the times of Judges, it is just as true for us today. So just like Jephthah offended Ephraim by telling the truth, let's not be surprised when the things we say and do, according to what the Lord Jesus asks, offends others. Our offensiveness will reach the point that we will be persecuted, especially in our morally declining world. Persecution is what the Lord Jesus guarantees will happen to those who follow him. Brothers and sisters, living in truth will ultimately lead to persecution. But unlike the way Jephthah reacted to Ephraim, seek peace and love first. Let's be found giving glory to God in everything that we do. Luke chapter 6 verses 35 to 36 says, But love your enemies and do good, and lend, expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for He is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful.